Over the last two and a half years throughout the pandemic, while other programs shut down or went completely virtual, every family source center kept its door open and the FSC staff became frontline workers. This network of 16 one-stop community centers provides safe havens where LA's lowest income families can access emergency financial support in crisis situations, enroll in services that promote long-term economic self-sufficiency, and find high-quality after-school academic assistance for their children. Well, we are located here in the beautiful Boyle Heights, right next to downtown LA. We have seen an increase in a real need for rental assistance, utility assistance. A lot of people, due to the pandemic in the last two years, were impacted by job loss, loss of income. Over the last two and a half years, what we have had is an increase in people just being displaced out of their homes, uh, living in, in multiple families, living in one place. I think that's the hardest thing for our youth, especially because they have no privacy, they have no space of their own. In Westlake Pico Union, um, we are the first stop for a lot of immigrants. And we, I call it the, the door into Los Angeles. So we have many families who are first arriving here from other countries. And so some of the barriers are English, housing, uh, jobs. You know, we're able to provide a multitude of services that include family source center uh, programming, but also programming that is beyond that. Our motto here is whatever you need, we'll figure it out together. Uh, we range from case management, financial stability services to really help people with the tools to save, budget, uh, restabilize financially. Every Thursday, on uh, Rain or Shine, we offer our food services program so families are able to come and pick up groceries. Uh, today we have a lot of vegetables and fruits, other days we have milk and different things. So today we are celebrating Juneteenth, the emancipation of slavery, and we decided to celebrate by um, doing a community giveaway. And so um, we just decided to give away lots of different um, basic needs. Um, we're giving away um, donations from Amazon. Um, we're giving away braid hair, diapers, um, uh, Ralph and Fufales, uh grocery cards. I have been working at All Peoples as executive director for 39 years, but I came to All Peoples when I was two years old as a child in the child care program. So this is the center that raised me. So everything that we do is very personal. For the students and the youth that we serve, uh, they feel that this is their center, their home. It's an extension of their home. It goes beyond family source. I mean, I've been here through numerous programs and it's just the fact that we're able to give back to the community and, and we see the, the community members that continue to come back. Mm -hmm. Even if it's just on a more personal level, kind of come and say hello to us and to thank us for being here. I am so proud that we have the Family Source Center because it is enabling us to provide the resources to families. I love being able to help them figure it out, find resources, and then just to see the change, um, sometimes instantly, um, makes all the difference in the world. The executive directors of LA's 16 FSCs respectfully request that the city of LA increase its investment in each center from the 2014 level of $1 million per center to the 2023 level of $1.43 million per center. The time is now. The time is now. Support LA Family Source Centers. Apoya los Centros Familiares de Recursos de Los Angeles. The time is now. Thank you for your continued support.